Hi, I'm Christine Scobie. I teach technology in the middle school and I've been here for 18 years. I'm also in charge of um, the scheduling and I'm the curriculum dean for the middle school. I'm Cindy Williams and I teach art um, grades 5, 6, 7, and 8. And I've taught here for, I think this is the beginning of my 33rd year. I've had three kids graduate from here and one grandson. Chris and I came up with this idea about um, bringing our rooms together and I, I had this space, this was kind of the art wing. We had been teaching together for like three years and as we taught together we were going back and forth, back and forth all the time so we were like well it would be cool if you had a space next to me and I certainly had a space to give so <laughs> we div divided the room in half and then started from there. But we really wanted a space where we could have open for everyone or closed off depending on what the need of the day was. So we wanted a flexible space that could move depending on the types of projects that we were going to do. We coined this classroom the Inno Innovation and Design Studio. And that's what this whole space is about. It's about allowing students to have the creative um, mindset where they can innovate and really dream up what they want to dream up. Um, so that's why you're going to see in here, there's not a lot of things on the walls um, because what we want them to do is think of their own ideas. I'm Stella and I, I'm in seventh grade and I came to Shorecrest in fourth grade. So for, in English, we, um, we produced a character using, and we wrote a paragraph and a script on it and then we, um, and then we took it to art and we started making the characters out of wires and then we used plastic bags and tape and we're working on that now and then we then we make clothing and then during tech we're gonna use a stop motion app and make a stop motion movie with it using our scripts from English. So it has made teaching so much more personable and um, easier to, I think it's a more uh, comfortable situation and um, the kids are pretty much in charge of the room. There's nothing in the room that isn't something that they can use. There's not a lot of clutter. Um, so I've, this teaching situation is wonderful. It's more than just um, furniture and classroom space. It's really about getting the students up and active. So we really try to get them active and engaged. So you might see us at one point where we're brainstorming as a team. They might be sitting on the floor. They might be grouped together with the desks. And then we might come back as a whole group and go over our discussions and our plans. We're starting to see this filter down and out into other classrooms. And what we're talking about now is use of space and how um, two teachers could collaborate together. We are really focused on project-based learning and we want to do projects with a big key that interact with our community at large. 